What's up guys, it is JBeebs here, and welcome to the first episode of the Oldham Athletic Realistic Career Mode series. As you all know, Oldham Athletic, or if you don't know, are in League 2, fourth tier of English soccer. Usually, whenever team players, YouTubers, do a, do a career mode series with one of these teams, they usually are looking to go fully to the prem as quick as possible. They look. To, they buy all the youngsters from all across the world. They invest heavily in the youth academy. Well, I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to keep things realistic. Obviously, we are still going to invest in the youth academy, as of, of course, as you should. But we won't be spending millions of dollars on it. We also won't be signing players from out of nowhere. We'll only be scouting locally, essentially. And we're not just going to have a team full of extremely promising youngsters. You know, going to try to keep things realistic. This isn't a this isn't a journey to the Premier League. It's enjoying a journey throughout throughout the the tiers of English football or soccer. Sorry, I'm American. I say soccer. And we're basically just here to have a good time. You know, not really gonna. Not gonna f really force anything, you know. I mean, we're just we're here. We're here to have a good time, you know. We're not gonna. We're not. I'm. You want to enjoy the journey. All right. In the preseason, we are gonna participate in the European International Cup because it's the easiest and pretty decent prize money. So first, let's sort out the team. So I decided we're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 wide. We'll have Grant at striker. You'll have Hilsner at attacking mid. Bahabola at right mid. McLaney at left mid. Whelan in Ntabwe at defensive mids. Borthwick Jackson at left back. Weeder left center back. Jambati, right center back, and Adams at right back. Then, obviously, we'll have Lawler and goal. Now we just need to go through and fix the subs bench a little bit. Because, obviously, game can be won if you make the right substitutions. Tactics wise, we will be looking to pressure on heavy heavy touch, and we'll just we're just gonna go for a simple balance with the seven four three three. Not gonna mess with any player instructions as of now. So that's just kind of it's kind of what the team's gonna end up looking like. So let's let's look at our emails from the board. All right, let's check out our youth academy. Okay, pretty decent amount of players. Mason Burnett at attacking mid. Probably could use him in the future. I think we should just have him go a classic attacking mid. You know, just ball distributor. And I think everyone else will either end up getting cut or we'll just see how they develop naturally. Alright, let's check out these board objectives. Youth development, they want us to just sign four players to each position. Should be able to do that. He wants to get 20 games with at least one goal scored. Should easily be able to do that. They want us to win the league or reach the round of 32 stage in the FA Cup. And they want us to finish the season with $850,000 of unspent transfer funds. Okay, that's pretty... That's pretty achievable. I mean, we have 2.5 million to spend in the first place. I think we're going to look to invest in the Youth Academy now. Alright, let's see what we're able to do. We're not going to buy the 4 star 4 star scout. We will buy a nice 2 star 2 star. And we're going to wait till the next Till next week in order to buy another set of scouts. 
All right, so we should probably Hmm, I think I think we'll start our scouting tomorrow. Don't want to do it on the first of the month. And we'll worry about all the scouting and things later, team issues. But for now, we'll just we should just just play. You know, play our first couple of games. Or well, training. Just get familiar with the team a little bit. All right. Good passing there. Good shot. All right, so now there's a defender. See, one of the problems is I don't know these players that much because obviously this is my first time using this team. So I don't know what foot all these players use. Well, I know Borthwick Jackson's a left back. So I'm going to assume he's a lefty. All right, that's an A for this drill, so we'll take that. Oh well, don't mind. Let's head into the next next drill, which is defending scenarios. This one's relatively easy, as long as you just be smart. Okay, so this Barnes guy, I don't know who he is. Good stop there by Clark. All right, so now we got a two v our first two v two of this drill. All right, good job there. Come out, keeper. Good job by Clark there. All right, so we got an A, as long as we just don't do anything stupid. All right, so that's two A's to start. Pretty good, pretty good. Ideally, the way you'd want to start. All right, now we've got this hot potato drill. I think it's the easiest training session thing you ever have to do. Because, I mean, I'm not even touching any joysticks. I'm literally just hitting X. You just gotta line up the shot, and with the one defender, you really just gotta just gotta pass in the circle. Now there's two defenders. Even this is actually pretty easy. Just thankfully, FIFA doesn't give the defenders much common sense. So that's three A's for the training drills, which is very good. And then heading to our next day. Obviously, we'll get messages from the players. And we have one more training session before our first preseason game. Yep. We do our captain's going to say hi. On behalf of the club, I wanted to welcome you. We've got plenty of work to do. All right. Let's see. I don't think... I think the scouts regenerate on weekends. Yeah. All right, so this first scout, simply, just going to go... We'll just go England for three months. And the scout, we'll go... We'll get a little bit of Icelandic flair for three months. All right, so now we need to fix our scouting. Because I obviously we're not going to sign any players from Mexico. So we're going to move this scout, send him to the Norwegian League. 
and send this scout to Germany. I think we'll also hire a fourth scout if there's a decent one. There isn't. I was hoping for like a two-star or a three-star scout. Okay, so the one thing that is going to be crucial in these rebuild, rebuild career mode type things is free contracts. Because obviously, moving our money around, would ideally like to have a... I don't want to say a, uh, a free player, but see, I mean, we could sign a couple of players. I mean, if we know their contract's expiring, their value is obviously much lower. It could be a good transfer deal there. Also, get some promising first team player quality players. Again, ideally you want the youth to develop. All right, so now we head into our next training drill. I don't know which ones these are. I hate this drill, by the way. All right. It's so dumb. Because it doesn't even give you like players who do this in the game. Like why would my why would my right back be? I guess there are certain situations where my right back would be doing this, but like put me on like one of my defensive mids or my center backs. Like choke a body perfectly. A center back doing a defensive drill. It's funny how that works. The other thing is, if you don't have insanely quick players or react right away, I mean, sometimes you're just, there's no chance of you getting there. Alright, so that's an A. We'll take that. I usually don't get an A on this drill first time. I usually just get a B and I'll, I just say whatever, I'll take it. Okay, I this drill is very annoying. Cause I mean, if you're facing a semi-decent defender, they know exactly what to do. Also, helps you, your player actually dribbles the ball. Yeah, we'll take a B. Sometimes in life, you just gotta admit, I'll take a B. This drill is very easy, simply because of the fact the AI defenders have no idea how to play this game. I mean, it's, they literally just stand there, and usually, it's your own players that end up costing you the drill. So if you just have a little bit of common sense, just pass the ball around. It's nice and easy. Alright, so now we have our first preseason game. I think Youth Academy squads reset, because I would like to get... And a third scout. Oh. I actually don't know if they reset. Alright, whatever. We have our first preseason game. We're just going to quick sim. We're just going to quick, quick sim through the preseason. One to one. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all.
All right, we have a transfer offer for. Oh, I, was, I was forgot. I was supposed to go through the squad and fix the put players on sale, as well as development plans. For example, Mickey Adams. I already have a good left back, so I need to fix you. I need to put you at right back. I'm just gonna take forever. All right, Borthwick Jackson's still gonna be our starting left back. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna loan out Bodon because he is younger, and we'll keep Barnett around, but he probably won't stay much longer. So Weider and Pierre Gianni. I think I'm gonna loan him out. My pro the problem I have with him is he's just too slow. All right, I think I'm also gonna sell Jameson and Diara because they have important contract roles, and I I can't guarantee them that they'll play that much. So I'm going to block the offers on him just so we can put him on the loan list. Because Adams is going to be starting through the rest of this season. Kelly, you're done. I think we'll add him to the transfer list. Alright, he's on loan so we can keep him around as a backup. Development plan. Michelaney, we need to move him to left midfielder. Because we play the 4 2 3 one it's going to take 279 weeks, but it'll happen eventually. I also need to move Baja, Baja Mbola, down to right midfielder from the right wing position. Because again, we are playing 4 2 3 1. Hisler, I, th I mean, he's on loan, so it's not really worth changing his. I mean, changing his position or whatever. I think since it, yeah, it's only going to take two weeks, we could easily move him to attacking mid. Alright. So... I actually think I want to loan out Thurnley, because I he, he has potential. But I just don't think he'll reach that this year. And I'll sell Blackwood. Because Thurnley has potential, it's just I don't think he's good enough. He's He's not... He doesn't have enough shooting ability to be our starter, so that's why he... I mean, he's not starting. So now we have to deal with the aftermath of all this. Yeah, I'll, I'll just insult him. I didn't mean to, but it's a thing I did. Oh well. So now we have our second preseason game against AC Horsens. They're a Danish side. I think we should be able to win. Draw. I mean, honestly, if, I think if we draw every game, we should get in. Ooh, it might not. But, you know, we'll see how things go. Alright, so now we have another... Another training session day. Ugh, this drill is f annoying. Partially because of the players it usually chooses. Like, I'm doing this drill with two outside backs. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why this wouldn't be, like, a center mid and a striker. I mean, even, like, a winger and a striker. But, you know, FIFA said, Hey, let's use, let's, let's use outside backs. Because they do these all the time. You know, thankfully, hum thankfully I did choose Hummer, who is... Oh, what, why was that? Why did that not count? The other thing is completely broken is the wrong target thing. Oh, that just means we got to see on the drill. Now right, we're gonna retry that one. I feel like we definitely could have done better. Another thing I hate is this camera angle. I can't shoot on it. I can only shoot. I can only shoot to the left, like near post. On this camera angle, I don't know why. I also don't know why my right-footed right back is choosing to volley with his left foot. Cas at the wrong target. There's only one target on the entire field.
for the B. Mm, nope. All right, we'll just go to the next drill. I can't. I can't deal with it. All right, this one's very easy. The only thing I have to question again is on my third run, why am I using my why am I using Pier Gianni, the slowest center back on the team? Good finish there. Pretty sure Pierre Gianni's a lefty, actually, if I don't know. Alright, so we got... We got the A. Good finish there from Barnes. Dust Silva, I don't know who this is. Pretty quick though. Perfect job on that drill. Perfection. Oh, this one's easy. Mainly because of how much aim assist FIFA gives you. Like I would consider myself, I mean I'm decent at the game, but I'm not hidden. I'm not do I'm not I don't shoot this well, and I know it. Like put like you put it on the ground towards the corner. Majority of the time, they're just going to have you whack it right into that water bottle. Or just... Yeah. Oh, What else does it help when you're your 56 overall center mid shooting? Okay, good. We got an A. That's one of those drills where I refuse to take anything less than an A. Alright, so now we should final preseason game. This is a big one. I think if we draw if we draw this one, I think we are I think we're through. Alright, so we have a loan to buy. I think we'll we'll see what they we'll see what they give us. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do the loan with the option to buy. Standard one-year loan. I like the sound of that. Wage split. Yeah, we'll just go 60-40. No, no need to worry about that. A 560. I think we're gonna counter that. Pros new transfer fee. I think we'll go 630. C3. We're 550,000. All right. So if if Badon accepts that offer the contract offer that they gave and he wants to move that could be a pretty decent deal for us get them out on loan if they want them we get an extra 630,000 oh, okay we lost that game and if they don't oh well we get them back next year improved so I think that means we're out of the preseason tournament yeah it's okay we still got four hundred thousand dollars from it yeah not selling Bobby Grant sorry St. Polkin just not gonna happen. That is our starting striker you were talking to. Oh, I think, I think new youth scouts should be available. I just want a simple three star, three star. And I think we'll sell for this two star, two star. And we'll have this bloke. Yeah, we'll send him to Wales for, send him to Wales for a little bit. So that leaves us with two point. Well, we have to finish with 800 some thousand, so that really, I mean, I think that leaves us with two, just over two million. With the way wages also work into that. So I think this is our last time we're going to play training drills for a while. Obviously, probably one day down the road, probably go through and play through the ones we don't have A's on. Once we have some better players. All right, there we go. Finally, a good cross. Oh, that's a goal. Why is my backup midfielder the one crossing these balls? All 
All right, I think we might actually go to salvage this. Yep, got the A, we'll play the next drill. One touch hit, good. Touch on the ground, good. Left corner. Left corner again, or down the middle. On the ground. Nice. All right, come on, we need to go a little bit quicker here. Okay, never mind, we're good. That's an A, and we'll smash this. All right, next drill. All right, good slide tackle there. Good tackle there. Get up hammer. What? Okay, still got an A. You say there's literally nothing I could have done there. They saved like the three guys in the middle all for the end against my right back. All right, so now let's take a look at what our scouts have brought in. Ideally, some of these younger, promising players. So, uh, actually, no, he's from Hamburg. We're not gonna be able to get him. Just joined the club. Just joined the club. Sasha, oh, nice look back. Just joined the club. Join, ooh. Just joined the club. Don't know. Just joined. Ooh, a goalkeeper. That's one position. Not about it at all. Oh wait, we're not gonna be able to get him from Spurs. We're not gonna be able to sign any players from Spurs for a while. Yeah, probably not less rather. Alfie Jones. We can maybe get him from Hull. How am I from Barnsley? Uh, we're not gonna be able to sign a Premier League player. All right, so we got a couple of players mostly defenders which i'm not opposed to wouldn't mind getting a good influx of defenders all right so pier gianni's got a loan to buy offer and i think we will entertain said offer all right yeah we will accept the loan to buy a two-year loan I would love that. Uh, we'll do. Actually, you know, I want to go a sixty-five thirty-five. Uh, five hundred twenty thousand, sure. Because I'm even pl planning on selling him anyway. But that's higher for value, especially two years from now when he's thirty. Probably won't still be worth as much as he is now. I think that's a pretty good deal. I think that's a pretty good deal right there. All right. So Badan did accept the loan. He'll be going to VAFC. And they can buy him. Durnley with the loan to buy. Then we're gonna delegate to get rid of the loan to buy and we'll settle for a one year loan. Cause I don't, I don't necessarily want to get rid of him. I think he does have a future with the club. Just not right now. All right, Pier Gianni accepted that loan move. All right, so now Hammer. Oh, loan to buy. Uh, we'll delegate. I don't want to loan him out because he is very good. But problem is Adams is Adams is new to the club and better, and he's starting right now. So I don't want to 
Oh, sweet. They will gladly accept just the regular one-year loan. Because I don't want him leaving. Ahmed, that is. Because he does have potential. It's just that he's just... It's not the right situation for him right now. We need Adams. We'll probably be gone next year once he um, air develops and stuff. Then it'll be perfect for him. All right, transfer offer, Amir. They've accepted the regular one-year loan, which is very interesting. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but they usually don't do this, things like this. I think our first game is on August 1st, if I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we got our scouting. We've got some information from our scouts. If the game loads. Oh, I hope this doesn't go because I don't know when I would have last auto saved. Because I didn't haven't saved for a little while because I was just going to wait till we, for our first game to save. This is no bueno. You're seriously joking right now. You, you can't be serious. I've been sitting here for a half hour recording this and the game crashes. So I'll let you guys know what hap ends up happening after this. All right, guys. So after whatever that just was, it ended up putting me back to right after the preseason ended. So I think we're going to make a little, some couple of changes to what we were going to be doing. I think we're going to hire Elias Arrow as a youth scout and we're going to set him up I think we're going to go um I already have a scout in Wales or England yeah, I think we'll just go Wales for three months that takes a little bit of a hit to our transfer budget however I don't care because I think I'm still going to hold off on buying anybody. Till we see. Like scouting players. Until we see what happens at the end of the season. So if you remember all those amazing loan deals. That we were able to negotiate. Yeah those didn't happen. And it's thanks to lovely FIFA. Being so perfect. And not glitchy at all. Alright so the bot on deal. Did go through which is good. I'm not playing training drills. I'm just. I just want to get to the first game of the season after what just happened. I'm just upset. Alright, so there's the Pier Gianni loan offer, which we will negotiate. Because I th we did get a very good deal for him last time. I guess we'll accept the loan to buy. They want a one-year deal? Sure. And we'll take a simple 60-40 wage cut. Wage split. 470. I would like 500,000. Simple enough. Alright. So, not the grit, not the same deal we had for Pier Gianni last time. But still a deal. I think we have our first game is on the first.
Alright, we have another transfer offer. This one is the loan for Hamer. Which we're going to negotiate because I don't want the option to buy. Because I, I want Hamer to be a player for us, just not right now. Alright, yep, goodbye. Probably could have delegated that one, but I was hoping that me going in person would somehow change something. Alright, so now we have multiple emails. So we got a couple of transfer offers for some players. I'm pretty sure I had loan listed Durnley, so we'll reject that one. And Hilsner has had his position changed. Which is very good. Because now he's at it. Now he's at an attacking mid. And we should put him at classic attacking midfielder. Or, no, we should go, we should go to this playmaker. Yeah. Alright. Even though he's on loan, still going to be a huge part to this team's success. Alright, so Peter Gianni was just loaned out on his one-year deal to that club's name I can't pronounce. A, loan, a transfer offer for Diara. Yeah, I think we'll just accept that. Just straight up. I'm really mad at the FIFA breaking there because, I mean, I felt really, really good. We had some very good transfer deals. We were scouting some players that were hopefully about to be very good. And then they weren't. Oh, we actually, we don't know, because we didn't even get to see. Actually, I don't think I'm going to buy any players till Like, I like to buy, like, these younger players right after the transfer window closes, because I can get them for that cheap price, uh, the overall that they are. And then, when, obviously, they get better. They improve throughout the season, so I can buy a player for 250000 we'll say. But by the time it's in, uh, by him in September, by the time it's January, he might be worth 600000 Yeah, we will accept that two-year deal for Durnley. Get, let, get him a little bit of playing time overseas. I think that was the Spanish team. All right, we got another Dur Durnley loan offer. We're going to delegate to the loan without buy. Because we don't want to sell him. Alright, we'll check out our youth academy. Okay, players really aren't developing that much. But, I mean, they're still there. Alright, so... Actually, we'll look at some of these. We'll look at some of these players, because, obviously, things have changed since then. Uh, just joined the club. Actually, no, we should probably look at... We should probably, yeah, we'll look at strikers. Alright, he's on loan. Don't need a winger. Oh, nice, bit, nice and big. Strong, great potential. Even though he's a left winger, we'll still look at him. Just join the club. Contract expiring. Oh, Parrot. I forgot. That's why he's on loan. Hurst is on loan. See, he's got potential to be special. Just join the club. And we'll scout him. Next, we'll look at some midfielders. Actually, no, we should look at goalkeepers. Because we don't really have, like, a... And we have goalkeepers, but I don't think either of them are young or really going to last us much longer. And it'd be nice if we could find... It'd be nice if we could find a player for the future. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this first episode of the Old Ham Athletic Realistic Career Mode. If you have enjoyed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions for me on what to do next, leave those down below. And this is Jamie's signing off.